many have unfortunately been confused by the recent reports of weather modification that were published in some Southern California papers. A lot of people have posted this. These reports were designed to distract people from the geoengineering elephant in the room, and that's exactly what they did, distract people. This is our cloud. You're the flyer, and you're flying over the cloud, dropping. No, the cloud's not flying. Sorry. But I like the special effects. Press that. But the cloud is shaking it up, 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 shaking it up. And what it is, again, this is warm cloud seeding, so all those water droplets are glomming on to the salt crystals that are in there. And so then we get the results. It rains. Donuts. It rains donuts. Yes. Yay. When people assume that, that this is somehow geoengineering, it's not. This is small scale weather modification and when people are shown pictures of small aircraft with flares tied to the ring, wings that seem very benign, that can't really have a huge effect in the environment, and then they convince themselves that that's all that's going on in the sky, so therefore they ignore the climate engineering monster that's spraying a single aircraft can spray 60 to 70 tons of nanoparticulates in one flight. And so I'm not sure why everybody jumped on this. Again, it, it, it was confusing for a lot of people. They seem to think this was some admission to geoengineering. It's not. Cloud seeding has been used around the world for decades. There are 172 bills before the U.S. Senate right now calling for more weather modification programs. It's an admission to climate modification on a small scale, which we have 200 uh, separate programs publicized in the U.S. every single year on that scale. They're just red herrings, distractions, that's all. We need to keep our focus on geoengineering. Solar radiation management. Climate engineering. Not be distracted by some local weather modification program that does virtually nothing in the bigger context. Nothing. Make your voice heard. Help us to turn the course of the Titanic before it goes to the bottom. Don't sit on the bench and complain or say there's nothing you can do. Don't believe that lie. Help us. Help us to change course.